Hi guys, welcome back to the next series in this channel. Today we're going to be starting with a new series. We're going to be doing a project. So if you guys want to follow along, then I think this might be a very good piece for your uh, portfolio and for the portfolio reviews that we've been doing. So uh, yesterday we uh, have, well, the, this past weekend, of course, we have our, um, there we go. We had our first uh, student submission and portfolio review. I think it was great. The comments and the views uh, show that. So I think you guys liked it. Uh, for those of you that missed this first one, don't worry. We're probably going to have one next week or the week after. I'm going to be announcing those, those uh, sessions uh, with some uh, anticipation. And then there's going to be probably like three or four days for you to submit your files before we close the submissions. And I review all of the things that were sent to our uh, site. So today we're going to be starting with a new project. And this is, again, one that I've been... Uh, kind of like going over my mind in the last couple of weeks it's one of those things that i really want to do so i want to show you my creative process in the in this thing so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a creep creator so you know uh in games you usually have this sort of like enemies that you uh beat very often right like this super simple element this super simple like a monster or a creature or parasite or whatever that is uh it's weak, it's supposed to be weak, so it's not something that you're going to be struggling with, but it's going to be there, just like hitting you. Like uh, one, one of the uh, the best ways to describe them is, is like in the Mario games, you know, the Goombas, the, the Koopas, the uh, Hammer Bros. Well, the Hammer Bros, I would call them like a mini small boss, like the bloopers, like all of these guys right here. These are uh, just like basic enemies that are going to make that are going to make your life a little bit more difficult. However, they shouldn't pose like a super big threat, like a, like a boss or something. And I'm going to show you one uh, activity that they usually do with my students that I think is very cool, which is how to how to like kickstart our brain to generate a new original idea. So we're not going to be copying a concept. We're going to be creating our own. And I, I like to leave these things to luck uh, every now and then. So if you guys know about the tree of a species, I think it's called. Uh, uh, yeah, this thing right here. So you guys probably have seen this. You probably saw them in, um, uh, in in biology when you were taking classes, or maybe some of you are still in high school in, or in middle school, and you're taking a look at this, right? So it's a way to divide a species. I think are they called uh, kingdoms? Kingdoms of life. Is this the one? Yeah, there we go. So we have Animalia, Plantaea, uh, Arctobacteria, Fungi, Eubacteria, and Protista. Okay, fair enough. Now I don't think we need to go all the way to like bacteria and stuff. So we're gonna try and keep it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna create my own like uh, my own category. So it's gonna be plants, uh, mushrooms, which is uh, fungi, uh, fish, uh, mammal, a reptile, and let's add a mineral. Maybe like some sort of like a rock creature. Okay, so we have those six again, and let's let's write them down. If you want to use this list, uh, you're you're free to to do so. So it's gonna be again uh, plant. Fungi, uh, fish, uh, mammal, then it's going to be, uh, well, which, what was the other one? Uh, reptile. And I'm going to use uh, like a mineral, like a rock enemy sort of thing. Now you can change this. You can make them maybe fish, maybe, um, I don't know. What other thing are we missing? Uh, you can, I would suggest not going super specific, like insect. We can do insect, for instance. We don't have insects right now. So I'm just going to keep this to keep it interesting. And the way I want to do, or I like to do it, is I, I have my my D and D collection back here. So just throw a D six, a, a normal die. So I'm going to say row D six here in Google, and they're going to it's going to give me a random number. So four. And in our list, number four is mammal. Okay, that's an easy one. That's fine. Uh, mammal sounds sounds good. So uh, we're gonna give, go with a very traditional thing. Then I like to go for like a biome. So if I look for biome, I'm gonna be taking a look at like let's say this biome right here. So we have uh, tropical rainforest, temperate forest, the boreal forest, desert savanna, grassland, marine, freshwater, and tundra. Okay, so let's see uh, where our little guy falls. So we're gonna throw a D10. And um, if we get a 10, then we just reroll. So let's roll a d10, and we get five. So that's one, two, three, four, Savannah. Ooh, okay, Savannah's gonna be fun. So there we go. So now we have Savannah, which is gonna be our, oh, I think Savannah, it's like, what, Savannah, Georgia or something? <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna go for Africa. Let's go for Africa, Savannah. And okay, it's a sort of like grassland. It's gonna be, um, it's a, it's a, semi-desertic environment i think it's not a desert of course but it's it's very hot it's very dry um in general 
So this is kind of like the, the vibe that we're going to be going for. And we need to create a mammal that lives in here. Perfect. Perfectly fine. So we can even look for Savannah mammals. And you're probably going to get a list of the most common mammals. So like a chimpanzee, meerkat, and giraffe, reno. Now, we're not going to do an animal. We're just not we're, we're not going to we're not going to grab an animal and just do it like that. We're going to use some inspiration to to create that. Now, I'm going to roll one more uh, die. And this is again, this is sort of like a like a creature creation exercise. You don't need to do that. If you already have like a very nice idea, you can just straight go to that one. Uh, but I'm going to call it friendly. I'm going to call it enemy and neutral. So friendly creatures will help you. Enemy creatures will attack you. And neutral creatures will react to whatever you do. So if you help them or you uh, somehow respect them, they might help you. And if you attack them, they're going to attack you back. Okay, so that's the kind of thing it's going to be. And I'm going to throw a D6 again because we don't have a D3. So if we get one and two, it's going to be friendly. If we get a two and a, or oh, sorry, a three and four, it's going to be an enemy. And if we get a five and a six, it's going to be a neutral creature. So we roll one more D6 and we get two. Okay, so it's going to be a friendly, friendly, friendly creature. That's fine. Uh, so there we go. So now we have a mammal that's going to live in the savanna and it's going to be friendly. Now it's time that we jump into Photoshop. Today's going to be a special class because we're not going to we're not going to be using the traditional like Maya and, and uh, Seabrush uh, approach. We're actually going to jump into Photoshop to do some quick uh, creations. So when I think about the savanna, when I think about the mammal, uh, it's probably going to be a creature that lives close to a source of water or probably close to a source of protection because we know that savanna is uh, it's a dangerous place. Pretty much every biome is a, a dangerous place, right, in the animal kingdom. But um, the savanna could be a little bit more uh, deadly. So let's just create a simple uh, sheet here. I'm going to go for a brush here and we're going to start sketching. So I usually recommend doing at least a couple of sketches, even if you already have like a good idea of what you want, just a couple of sketches. And in this phase, the best thing I can recommend is try to explore shapes. Like what kind of shape are you thinking of? So friendly usually tells me, hey, it's probably gonna be a round face or a round shape, but maybe we wanna try and see, hey, how, how would like a, like a square shape look like, right? Like something like this. And maybe we can go a little bit more extreme and say, what, what, what if we do like this sort of like, weird shape just let's just a scribble and then hey you know what like i have this interesting shape right here okay so let's start with the round shape well, what what am i imagining well mammals of course are born uh, not through an egg or not through any other meat method it's this uh through uh, through a uh, mom animal that is going to breastfeed usually mammals are breast uh, fed i think so um i need to decide is it a four-legged creature or is it a two-legged creature i, I kind of like making it kind of like a little gorilla thing so let's add like two hands here in the front and then like a, like something here on the back. Uh, since it's a good animal, I'm probably gonna give it like a very, very nice cute eye. Let's do like a cyclop kind of thing. There we go. And since it's a mammal, it's usually gonna have some sort of like traditional mouth. So let's do it like this. And he's in the savanna, so he's probably gonna be like a, maybe like an elephant. Uh, so what if he has like some sort of like horns or something? Small horns, just for defense. He's not gonna be. He's gonna be a herbivore, or he's gonna eat like insects or something. But he he's gonna have this sort of horns. So now we have this sort of like very loose, very simple sketch of this uh, sort of creature, right? So um, I like that one. That one's interesting. Now this one, I kind of like like the shape here, like maybe like a big mouth over here, and then. Like a couple of eyes. I'm going. I'm going the cartoony side, by the way. I'm not going realistic. This is going to be a little bit more stylized, a little bit more cartoony. So maybe something like this. <laughs> I'm thinking about maybe what. What if we give him like some sort of like Bigfoot uh, feet like this? And uh, again, if we think about mammals that have some sort of hand, maybe maybe he has got like really long arms, like a like a chimp or something. Maybe like a like a little belly here. I, I, I kind of like, I want this guy to be a little bit like hairy. So he's going to have like that and then like that, maybe like a tail. It's kind of like a, like a weird chimp or something. In that case, since this is more like a weird chimp, let's give him like the, like the monkey, like nozzle. <laughs> there we go. That looks funny. So it's like a cartoon chimp kind of thing. Uh, but maybe, um, what can we do to make him a little bit weirder? Um, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this is just like a very traditional like monkey kind of thing. Like just a funny monkey, right? And then this shape, it's an interesting shape, right? So again, let's think about like a sort of an alien planet. Uh, and I'm going to take a little bit of inspiration from giraffes. So maybe he's going to have like this sort of long neck over here. And then 
uh, what else can we do? Maybe he has like very weird undeveloped arms, like super small, but like really, really tall feet. Like this. Kind of like a, like a moose shape. And I, I really like the little like antennas that giraffes have. So maybe he's gonna have one of those two little, little antennas. It looks very weird because it's like a, like a camel sort of thing. I think camels are from desert. So, okay, we have a couple of ideas. Let's do one more. Let's do one more shape because I'm not totally convinced. Like I really like the first one and the little chimp there, but let's try something interesting. Let's try, again, if we take a look at the animals, like the savannah mammals, like let's see which one of this kind of looks interesting, like the meerkat looks interesting. So maybe like a small head, heavy, heavy uh, body kind of thing. Oh, you know what? I know orangutans no, are, are not part of the savanna, but I really like their shape. And I can use the inspiration uh, for this. So, so I really like the orangutan shape, like this sort of thing, like it's very interesting. So. Maybe he has like a very interesting like head shape over here. And then uh, like this, like just like a very lazy creature. I'm thinking about the red pandas as well. I know again, they're not from that specific area. Uh, and let's add in the Sabana we have, oh, the warthog. I like those, those, those tusks. Like maybe this tusk right here. Ooh, this one, this one I, I kind of like. So yeah, so now we have four ideas, right? So we have four little guys here that we need to, to choose from. So I'm gonna leave this to luck again, because um, if I were to choose one, I'd probably go with this one, but I wanna challenge myself and pick something that I might not be super comfortable work with, and let's see if we can make it work, okay? So again, once you're in this phase, once you have like some like quick sketches and stuff, you can just pick whatever you want. But I'm gonna eliminate this one because I really don't like it. And again, this is gonna be one, two, this is gonna be three, four, and this is gonna be five, six. And let's throw one more die and see what we get. Well, actually, I threw too many dice. Let me let me just throw one. Two. Okay, so we're going to go with this little guy right here. With this little uh, sort of thing. So I need to think about what kind of animals resemble this guy. And the first one I'm, I'm thinking about is like a mole. Right? Because uh, moles are this sort of like round creatures. They are in... in <laughs> Super funny, the, the naked mole. Uh, so, so we can use this as a sort of inspiration. And we need to polish this before we jump onto uh, onto ZBrush or, or Maya or wherever we're going to start this guy. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And let's take a, uh, think about the side view. So on the side view, uh, this guy is definitely like top heavy. So this is going to be front and this is going to be back. Oh, back. Uh, I, I want him to kind of like move like a, like a gorilla. So I'm going to look for... A gorilla uh, side and and this is sort of like the profile I'm going for so I like that one so if this is the head then he has to have a torso which is gonna be something like this so I'm thinking about like that like the skull right so imagine this is the skull where the eye is gonna be because he's a cyclop uh, kind of thing so that's it and then that's like the like the rib cage and then the pelvis would be over here like this and the arms you can see are really high up here. So it's the eye, elbow, and then the hand. And on the back, we're gonna have the femur. And uh, and then it's pretty much like a, like a human feet, so something like this. So let's do the ground plane. Now, I do kind of want him to be a little bit lower than a gorilla. So I'm actually gonna bring this thing a little bit lower and do more like a traditional, like kind of like a frog kind of thing. So it's gonna be like a trilateral leg here on the back. Let me, uh, let me delete this so we don't get confused. There we go. That's, that's a little bit closer to what I'm uh, looking for. So yeah, the, the back leg is going to be like a trilateral leg. Did I change the opacity? Yes, I did. There we go. Uh, I think I do. I mean, uh, mammals usually don't have a tail. But I think I want to add like a tail to this guy. I think it will be fun. Now we do have the horns. So I'm actually going to make the horns asymmetrical. So I'm just going to say that the, that the right horn is bigger and then the, the left horn is smaller. That's going to be kind of like the, like the thing for this guy. So we're going to have like a, like a really big horn on this side and then like a small horn on this side. And then the mouth, uh, I, I, I kind of like the chimp mouth. And this is the cool part. This is where you can actually like start mixing, mixing and matching to, to find something interesting. So... 
So since this guy is going to be like a sort of mammal kind of thing, we can go like this. <laughs> that looks funny, right? I think that looks cute. Uh, we're going to sculpt a little bit of like furry hair here on the back. And, um, and then the arms, also maybe a little bit of fur here on the arms. Very, very like human arms. I think he's going to be walking like in two legs. And then uh, when he just like jumps and stuff, he's gonna be like, a... so yeah, he, he, he is a change from being this sort of like mole to this sort of like monkey. So I'm, I'm kind of combining these two guys, which happens very often in the, in the, in the 3D uh, or in the design process where you're gonna find something that works and then uh, you're just gonna start tweaking from there. So yeah, now let's do a very quick three quarter view. Again, just to give us a, a, a general idea of how we want our little creature to be. So it's gonna be like this. The eye is gonna be like this. And then we're gonna have our little like nose and like a like a chimp kind of thing then this mole horn over here a little bit of furry hair here maybe even like a little bit of furry hair over here do we do like a couple of fangs i don't know maybe too much we'll see that in seabrush uh and then the, the little body here so it's gonna be a, one of the arms and then there i'm not a, a concert artist by the way if you haven't noticed <laughs> uh but I, I think i can express my idea in a nice way. So this is going to be like the little deck down there. And it's going to be the little deck there. So yeah, I like this guy. I think I think this is a good a, a good uh, idea, a big idea of what, what I want to do with the, with the guy. Maybe the, the tail at the end is a little bit like fluffy. Uh, that would be interesting. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have something to work with. So this is when I'm creating something and I'm just going from complete scratch, this is a very good exercise because you're going to be seeing things that work, things that don't work, and you're going to be able to come up with something more original. If I just grabbed any concept from the internet, then, you know, it's just copying and it's, it's not, it's not an original idea, but this guy right here, I think, I think it has potential. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video right here, guys. Tomorrow we're going to continue with the actual first phase of the, of the sculpting of this little dude. So let me know if this is something that uh, you guys think is going to be cool. Let us know in the comments. If you're doing your own drawing, then feel free to, uh, I, I think you can share your art station like profile or something and we can follow up that uh, there or something. Uh, but yeah, make, make sure to like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you back on the next one. Bye-bye.